hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to talk about few more interview questions and answers this is the part 14 from snowflake interview questions and answers playlist first question is it possible to create a procedure with same name with different argument segments using different languages like javascript scala python java snowflake scripting from latest snowflake version the answer is yes as we know that snowflake has introduced the snow park and also snowflake, snowflake has introduced the snow snowflake scripting language so while creating a stored procedure you can use the either javascript snow park snow park comes with the three languages basically scala python java and snowflake scripting it's a snowflake own scripting so we can create a stored procedure by using these languages any one of the language so the answer is yes and also we can create the same name with different languages here if you see the first one is the language javascript i have created and the procedure name is my proc and the variable name data type is the flow here another procedure with the name is the same but here variable name could be same but data type would be different or if the variable is same then you can add one more variable like that with a different number of variables with a different uh, signature so like that you can create a same procedure with uh, 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 with same name with the different languages like if you see from the metadata here procedure language okay javascript and sql because here this procedure i created with javascript and this procedure i have created language using sql this syn syntax would be different based on your language next question here is the scenario assume that you have created create um, customer table with two columns one is the id another one is the maturity date after that we are going to insert three records with three different dates and then if you do select star from customers order by id this is the id one two three one two three and we have a dates okay please note that this is the current year this is the previous year and this is the next year i mean future year. so three values are there now question is write your query to get below output okay below output using above data from the customers table see this is the expected output okay we have to write a query please note that if the current year then yes except other than current year then we have to print no by using the derive the another column okay is maturity date falls in current year so the answer is here is the query to get the expected output by using the please note by using the date part we can write this query so select id maturity date these are the uh, columns from the table and by using the case when date part so from by using the date part function extracting the year okay you can extract a, any date time i mean time or month day or like that you can extract from date by using the date part function built-in function so here maturity date equal to date part year of current date okay then yes current date and your uh, maturity date column uh, value from the table is equal then yes else no and your column name is the alias name is maturity date falls in current year from customers order by id dec this is the one way you may write uh, you know same output by using the other functions like extract function and there are many functions you can uh, many i mean different ways you can write the uh, query to retrieve the this output to get this out okay so this is the expected output if you see here this is the current year 2022 so hence this is the s else all for all other two rows one is the future date one is the uh, you know previous year so for them no next question here if you see scenario here i am executing these commands one by one so you know 
this is the use role account admin warehouse compute underscore wh use database demo db and use schema public now after this after executing these uh, all four commands then select current schema so now current schema is public now after this uh, assume that you are going to create another schema create or replace schema test one okay here schema test one successfully created now question is what is the current schema for this session so assume that you, you have executed all this we have executed all these commands in the same session okay the answer is select current underscore schema test one please note that the moment when you create a any schema fr from your current session then after okay your current schema would be the whatever you have created a uh, schema that would be the your current schema for your session next question here is the scenario assume that you have defined the below two session variables in your current session okay set str1 is equal to uh, within the uh, parenthesis select hello world okay this hello world is the string that's why i put the single quotes and another one is the set string to equal to dollar dollar select hello world dollar dollar end so this is the you know now question is what is the output of below query so here query is the select uh, dollar str1 dollar str2 the answer is see select string one string two answer is hello world and this is the entire string please note that in your session when you are going to define any variable with the within the braces or parenthesis then what will happen this will be executed and okay and the output of this query would be assigned to this string whereas for others other case if you keep that one within uh, you know dollar dollar or uh, single quotes also then that will consider as a string and then that string will be assigned to your variable okay now let's see here you can define this you know string like this or if here is the special character single code so you have to escape this character that's why you have to keep uh, two single codes same with both are same so to un understand i mean readable format if you use the dollar dollar that would be easy for you to i mean you know understand and readable purpose okay otherwise you have to count the how many commas are there and you have to escape those special uh, special character now this is the you know uh, single code suppose if you have a double quotes then again you have to escape that character also so the, what you have to do instead of that you can use the dollar dollar okay symbols next question what what is the output of below query select date from parts year month days and another one is the date from for same function only year month plus 24 and 1 the answer is select date for from 2021 see here individually you have to pause okay i will tell you that date for um, the date from first okay the answer is this one so adding 100 days and here adding 24 dates for from this year okay so here 2021 100 days that means 2020 04 okay this is the uh, january and this is the april april 9th okay so total 100 days added here similar way 2022 this is the month and 24 means two years exactly so 22 plus two years 22 years so generally you know the date part from uh, date from parts creates a date from individual numeric components that represent a year month and day of the month so in real real time you know you may have a values okay in different uh, three columns like year column and month column and day column from that if you want to construct a date i mean if you want to you know if you want to create another column or derive a new column with the date and date okay then you have to use the date from forts function otherwise you can use the concatenate also however you you have to 
use the i mean you know concatenate symbol all these things that's why simple uh, i mean you know snowflake pro already provided the built in function called date date underscore from underscore parts and these are the comp if you see these dates na components outside normal ranges see generally the the day would be okay between day, day would be between 1 to 31 and similarly months would be 1 to 12 but here the components which we input okay parameters beyond the i mean outside normal ranges so even though the date, date from parts function takes the uh, uh, you know argument as their outside normal range and then give, gives the date accordingly yeah that's it from this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click bell icon for notifications like it and share it to your friends thank you once again